Content management systems of all kinds represent structure in both authoring templates and presentation templates. So the CMS will have an authoring environment where we'll have an article name, which might be called title in other systems or schema.org might be called headline. But that's a mapping that we can create within our definition of our content model. There's a body, there's an editor's node, a teaser image, whatever we want to do to structure that content, it will have the ability to represent that content then into different presentations. Once we have those elements ready to understand and move as separate things, as separate objects, we can move them around into different presentation templates. And all of those are using different versions of, of markup wrappers around the same structural elements. When we have containers for our content, we also have the ability to adapt that content by its object-oriented nature into different contexts, different customer experiences. That can, means our artificial intelligence or at the very least prescriptive A-B testing uh, all can be run against structured elements instead of pages. So when we define structure, we're able to use our models as an important, I would say critical, part of this transformative move that's happening from one-off page design to the assembly of fluid experiences using fluid content. The content model is that centerpiece that allows content to be handled and movable. Aaron, who many of you know, uh, has this wonderful quote in an article that, uh, that we're proud to host on, on simplea.com, engineering content for superior search performance. Uh, and Aaron's talks about the importance of structured data and describes that it liberates the meaning of content from its visual presentation, making it easier for search engines to understand, use, and transform the content. And I love the word liberates. 